Now, we're actually gonna hit the road to visit the Columbus Idea Foundry, which is a bustling center of the maker movement. And Joe, you've actually been there, so tell us a little bit about it. Oh, this. I love the maker space. It is the largest maker space in the country, and it's filled with tools from welding to glass cutting to wood shops to jewelry making, clay, it's amazing. And you, once you become a member, you have 24 seven access to all of those tools. And most importantly, it's got a great community of makers who are always there for you to say, hey, can someone teach me how to do this? Can someone collaborate with me to make something? It's a cool space, fabulous tools, great tech, great community. Cool, and it makes me want to join. And now we're actually gonna have an interview with the founder. My name is Alex Bandar. I'm the founder and CEO of the Columbus Idea Foundry. The Columbus Idea Foundry is a makerspace in Columbus, Ohio, and we're also a living laboratory that demonstrates what grassroots creatives and innovators can do when provided with access to software, access to information, access to tools, and the ability to take their ideas out of their head and hold them in their hand. When I first became interested in learning how to make things with my hands and providing a community workshop to other people who wanted to do the same thing, I didn't realize that there was something called the maker movement or maker spaces. Uh, I just thought that a community workshop would be a fun thing to have. The beautiful thing about the maker movement is that anyone can be a maker if you have an idea and access to tools or software to realize that idea. We offer a lot of classes here that you won't find anywhere else because we're not really uh, a college. We're not trying to accredit someone. We're not trying to certify a welder. We're not trying to give you a degree. We're just trying to give you the talent for one afternoon or one weekend to use a tool or a piece of software that you never thought you'd have access to to see if you like it, to see if you have a passion for it or an aptitude for it, uh, and whether you want to pursue it further. And that's the heart of the Columbus Idea Foundry. We teach very short-term, one afternoon or one weekend class uh, in three hours, get an introduction to welding or introduction to laser cutting. Uh, and then we sell memberships. So you can come here, buy membership, have 24-7 access to our 60,000 square foot warehouse full of tools and uh, use everything you've been trained on. But uh, something beyond just access to the tools is the community itself. So if you want to do jewelry, for example, but you talk to someone who does 3D printing and you realize they can actually 3D print molds for you, now suddenly you can make lots of uh, organically shaped jewelry much faster than perhaps carving it out of wax. And it's those opportunities for cross-pollinating with people outside of your background or skill set that I think really lead to artistic and technical innovations of serendipitous collisions that occur every day here at the Idea Foundry. Our members use all manner of materials here at the Idea Foundry, from paper and plastic and leather on our laser cutter, to bronze and steel in our blacksmithing shop and our metal casting lab. Jewelry uh, makes use of sterling silver. We see all sorts of electronics, LEDs and motors in our electronics lab. Uh, the whole gamut of everything you can think of. And every day I get to see people bring materials in and then walk out with things like laser cut wedding invitations or an electric motorcycle that actually spent a month at the Motorcycle Hall of Fame. Uh, retail products, art projects, innovations and inventions, really spanning the gamut from creative to technical, and uh, I couldn't be prouder. As we continue to grow, we're going to keep doing what we do very well, which is connecting people with very different skill sets to work together and help make amazing things happen.